Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's uh, Saturday, and uh, we're up at the Lake Saratoga, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to clean a really dirty grill that somebody left for us. Yeah, nice to clean up after yourselves. So anyhow, so you get some foil right here, and you take the shiny side, and you put that down on the grill, and yes, the grill is going. So you put that on there, and the grill's on high. And uh, we come back in a few minutes and uh, let that cook. All right, it's only been uh, about two minutes so far, and uh, we've already got a good chooch going out of it. So uh, let this thing burn off for a little bit more, and uh, I'll put you back on in a sec. Still chooching. One thing you have to be very careful about is... Uh, when these things are not cleaned for a long time, the uh, the drip pan on the bottom usually gets a good blaze going in. And if I open the lid up right now, that sucker is going to flare up uh, pretty badly. So, anyhow, we're still burning. All right, so I lifted the foil off, and uh, we've got a, a pretty good fire going on inside here now. But uh, you can see all the crap that's on the grills are uh, starting to burn off already. So I'm going to put the foil back on and uh, let this thing continue to uh, inferno. Ah, the lake. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's get back to our fire. Yeah, she's going pretty good now. We got her up to uh, 400 now. And the pan's out. All right, let's take a look. That's what we like to see. Just foil off. All that white stuff. So we just have a little bit of a burn going on in the back there, but for the most part, this grill will clean up nice now. I'm going to tell you, me and my buddy Paul, he did this one time to my friend Mark's grill that was never cleaned. And we wound up melting down all the flavor bars on the inside. And when we did that, uh, we killed it and we had to actually buy a new flavor bar. So. Anyhow, that's how you clean a dirty grill. So, uh, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care. Mmm, nice burgers cooking on a clean grill. Mmm, cheeseburgers. Chris doesn't like a cheeseburger. He's going for a hamburger. Anyhow, guys, bon appetit. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and I think that's what the grill should look like after you're, uh, you're done cooking. So, anyhow, once again, take care.